So yeah, I was just out skating here at the Tree Mountain Skate Park. Pretty cool little skate park, but I just broke my wrist, so I gotta go to the hospital. Uh, he's either broken or dislocated, but I think it's broken. I can barely freaking move it. You can see, yeah, it's, it's pretty freaking bad. What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to another Dark Frog Adventure. Today, I am out here at Tremont, Utah, and we are out here at their little skate park. So let's go ahead and check out the skate park real quick. So this is their skate park, right next to the golf course. It's a tiny little park, it's pretty cool. Got a couple rails, there's some stairs right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and start skating this a little bit and then I'll get back with you guys and we'll go for a quick little ride and check out the skate park. So we got some bowls in here, which is pretty cool. Go around the track real quick. Pretty nice little bowl. Transitions are pretty smooth. Got a little embankment there. So yeah, I was just out skating here at the Tree Mountain Skate Park. Pretty cool little skate park, but I just broke my wrist, so I gotta go to the hospital. Uh, he's either broken or dislocated, but I think it's broken. I can barely freaking move it. You can see, yeah, it's, it's pretty freaking bad. Nothing's poking out of the skin, which is nice, but I can definitely see a lump in it, so let me around. I'm trying to find the hospital right now, but yeah, you can see how it's just kind of puffed out and it's broken. Right. <sighs> He's gonna go through, so just keep going. But uh, yeah, so we're trying to find the hospital up here in Tree Mountain and everything, so I can get my wrist looked at, but yeah, I'm pretty sure it's broken. Uh, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and start wrapping down this video. This is gonna be it for skating today. Um, but uh, yeah, I'll keep you guys updated real quick in this video and whatnot and all that fun stuff. So, see you in a while. So yeah, I'm here in the emergency room right now, waiting for the doctor to come by, see what's going on. Um, I was not filming when I fell. Uh, I was riding my skateboard, just doing something really easy, and I lost my footing, and my foot went down, caught, and fell awkward on my wrist, and heard a pop, and that was that. I don't know if you can, I can't really move my wrist right now, but if you can see, it's pretty jacked up that big lump right there yeah I don't know if it's broken or dislocated but uh like I said wait and go for x-rays right now but it's all part of skating and like I said I'm getting quite a bit older so might be it for my skating don't know probably will be though but um we'll see so they just came in and did the x-rays I'm waiting for the results on the x-ray to come back and everything and uh whatnot but uh yeah so that's Pretty much a quick little update on what's going on right now. Uh, my wrist hurts like hell, but eh, guarantee. I mean, it's gonna do that. I don't know if you can see it, but I can't really. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's there. It's pretty rough. You can see that big lump right there. Like I said, I think it's probably dislocated, but we'll find out here in a little bit. I can I I can move my fingers a little bit and kind of. Uh, touch my wrist without it hurting and I can touch the inside of my hand without it hurting and it's, that's why I'm thinking it's probably just dislocated, but we're gonna find out So the doctor just came in <clears throat> and uh, told me gave me the results. It's broken pretty good <laughs> So um, we're gonna do a couple more tests and everything and then I have to go to another hospital this afternoon to Go see what's going on and go talk to a hand specialist uh, Someone that does they're talking possible surgery on it uh, hope not, but uh, we'll see. Anyhow, um, but I'll get back with you guys here in a while. So I just got out of the emergency room and everything. Uh, I got my arm all <laughs> wrapped up right here for my wrist and everything. So we're getting ready to go over to another specialist so they can check out my wrist and whatnot. Uh, there wasn't much they could do for me at the emergency room other than take a couple of X-rays, wrap it up so it doesn't like you know so it doesn't fall out of place and get injured worse. But now I gotta go over and see a specialist like a wrist and something wrist and what hand specialist or something like that yeah. so yeah hopefully we can catch them today if not it's gonna be a miserable night for me tonight but uh yeah i'm gonna go ahead and start heading that way and uh i will get back with you guys in a while it might be tomorrow when i get back to you guys but yeah i'll get back to you guys here and and uh let you guys know what's going on what's up adventures so it's uh day two i didn't get a lot of sleep last night my arm was hurting pretty good 
Uh, so we're off to see the other doctor that I need to see. We're pulling into the parking lot right now. Um, so, like I said, I, I don't know exactly what's going on right at the moment. I gotta go see the doctor, find out, and I'll give you guys a little bit of an update on that here in a little while, probably. But uh, yeah, so like I said, I'm, I'm getting ready to pull in right now. So, gotta go see my doctor and see what's going on. But from the sounds of it, over at the uh, emergency room yesterday, where I was at, uh, they said that I broke it pretty good. So there is possible surgery coming up for my wrist. But uh, like I said, I'm gonna see what this doctor has to say and go from there. All right, just got done seeing my doctor and everything. So yeah, there's gonna be surgery on it. I'm gonna end up with some uh, scars. That, like, yeah, it is. Yeah, <laughs> so there's gonna be surgery. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and start wrapping down this adventure. There was a car behind you. What's up, adventurers? Uh, day three. My arm's still in the sling and everything. Uh, it has, it's not even been set yet. Uh, like I said, I got surgery coming up here shortly. Uh, here within the next few days and whatnot. Uh, I blew my wrist apart pretty darn good when I landed. It was kind of an awkward landing too. Just kind of a fluke accident. I was just riding my board and uh, hit a rock and threw me and psh, landed wrong and busted my wrist. Uh, like I said earlier, I was like, I don't know if I'm more upset about breaking my wrist or not getting it on video. <laughs> but uh, it's been pretty rough for the last few days because I haven't been on any pain meds or anything. I don't want to take none, so uh, as long as I'm careful with it, it doesn't hurt too bad, but it still hurts like hell. Um, but yeah, they're going to do surgery. There's going to be, uh, they're going to be putting a, a plate in my wrist and whatnot. Uh, I, I mean, I shattered my wrist pretty good. It's fractured in a few spots, broken in a few spots. I put the x-rays on the video here for you guys. Uh, it's kind of hard to see on the x-rays, but at least get to see the x-rays. Um, so the, like I said, they're going to be putting a pin in there, or not a pin, but a plate in there trying to remove as many of the little bone fractures as possible. My wrist is actually 20 degrees back farther than where it's supposed to be. So it's, instead of being straight like this, I don't know if you can see this wrist, but I've fallen on this one like quite a few times. You can see how this wrist is all dis disfigured and whatnot from falling uh, throughout the years. But uh, yeah, my other wrist is about 20 degrees back farther than where it's supposed to be. Um, so the doctor has to get in there and clean out all the fragments and everything and try to put my arm back together the best she can. Um, so my doctor's pretty good and everything, uh, so, um, yeah, I'm not excited about surgery or anything, but like I said before, that's all part of skating. You break bones, whatever, that's why it's an extreme sport. But, um, anyhow, I might not be able to do some videos here anytime soon. I won't be able to probably get you guys videos, uh, as quick as I usually do. I don't know. Uh, it just kind of depends on how the surgery goes and how fast I recover. We are still planning on doing our Halloween video and whatnot. Uh, so I should be up and well enough to be able to do that for you guys. Uh, we're still talking about doing the Haunted Cover Wagon uh, Museum over in northern Utah. That place is supposed to be pretty freaking haunted. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put this video on both my channels. Uh, I'm going to do it on the vlog channel and my main channel. Um, I usually don't throw videos like this on my main channel because it's kind of more towards the... Uh, paranormal adventures and stuff like that at night and hiking and all the average fun adventures and whatnot but uh, yeah if you're new to my channel most definitely hit subscribe if you like this video hit like uh that would, i'd greatly appreciate it on this video because this uh this video hurt to make <laughs> so i hope you guys kind of enjoy it um i didn't put too much of the graphic stuff in there and you know whatnot uh so that way it, you guys can watch it without really squirming but I mean, if you're sensitive, you probably won't watch this video anyhow, but anyhow, I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching my videos. You guys are awesome. Thank you for the subscribes. Thank you for the likes. Uh, most definitely smash down the likes on this video, you know, for your support. That'd be fantastic. I'd really appreciate that. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and start wrapping this video down. So I will see you guys on the next adventure.